I'm gonna go talk to some pigs. B or B. Oh, there's a chest there too. Put it out, put it out. The pig is engulfed in flames, but her skin remains unsinged. Uh I'll have to find some water. We've leapt in lakes and rolled in puddles of blood it makes no difference. Can't you do anything? P -p Please release us from this agony. The pig is clearly getting worked up. She seems on the verge of racing away. Uh we may oh, have a spell that easers is. It's necrofire. Yeah. But she needs her friend her her and her, her and her friends need to calm down. Are you sure it will work? How do, do I know it won't make this even worse? Tell the pig to shut up and listen, here's the deal. She pulls it together and you remove the curse. Okay. But I don't think Prayers are resolved, she has not seen much tragedy in her in in, in her years. This too could be overcome. Yes. I have endured for this long. I c c can endure longer, but p please, please ease this burden. I beg you. How did the curse come to be? It's the d doing of Bracchus Rex. C c kings will always come to see themselves as gods. I should never have spoken ill of him. Many years ago, we d dared warn of Bracchus Rex's gluttonous cruelties. We paid the price with these porcine bodies and the c Curse of eternal flames. Admire her willingness to speak out against the source king. But the praise means nothing. I would reject it if it meant a chance to, to turn back the clock and worship Bracchus Rex as he demanded. Bring it to an end. I will trust you in this, p -p please. All right. Um, can you just do that? Is it a curse? It might be. Do yeah, I, if yeah, you want to save, I'll be try. Cause it's like yeah, a finite amount of source pools around here. Yeah, try it out. I mean, that's I think that's why they have source pools. Oh, there, yeah, you got it. All right. What the hell? Hey, no, he's he's cool. Dude, come over. What? Where are you? Oh, you're talking to something. What the fuck a skeleton? A, a lizard skeleton. All right. Yes. The menacing skeletal guardian looks at you wearily, then yawns. So you dare defy the will of Bracchus Rex, prepare to die, and so on and so forth. Let's get this over with. Uh... Tell us seems rather casual about thing. Why wouldn't I be? Every so often, some interloper goes and undoes one of Bracchus Rex's curses, and I must murder the poor sod. I hope this brings the discussion to an end. I don't like being roused from slumber, only to be greeted by such banality. <laughs> hey, you, you know what I'm Shit. looking at. Scratch your head. Do skeletons really sleep? Well, I wouldn't have said so if they didn't. Can't eat, sadly. Food goes right through you. Too bad, too, since those fiery hogs gave me a hankering for a good pork stew. Tell her Baracus Rex is dead. Why does she still do the Source King's bidding? She moans impatiently and taps her bony foot. Yes, yes, I know he's dead. I am still obligated to perform his wishes. He may not live, but the threat of his curse hangs over me. I'm going to try the wits because Beast has no wits. Press on further. What curse threatens her? Who is to say? Could any curse be more grave than this interminable conversation? Now, let's get down to business. All this talking exhausts me. Alright, I'm gonna put... Uh, oh, okay. oh, sorry, I shouldn't have ended combat. Yeah, probably not. She's like in level 5, though. It's fine. I mean, I don't ever underestimate anything. Everything is temporary. Exactly. I'll just the poison. No, actually, I'll heal her. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, I caught myself. Let's do something. Like I said, we just did a really difficult fight. I, I don't trust this for a second. Did Seabill get encouraged? No. She is really far away. Maybe I shouldn't have her falling that far away. <laughs> That's like. She was. She doesn't even encourage range. Did 
chill move. Well then. Well then. Well then. You're not trying to escape, are you? Okay. Here's a question. Do I want to just uh, go up on the top here? In <laughs> the line's right there. You might as well. I mean, tactical I tactical retreat up there. I can tactical retreat up there. Oh, it's a little bit more difficult than I thought. Eh, fuck it. Who cares? Hopefully, I can hit her from here. Should be able to. Yeah, I can. I ah, we're just gonna kill her just like that. Any thoughts would be hard. <laughs> Finish him. Crits! Alright, can I just move there and kill? No, I have to bull rush there. Ow. Alright, let me see what the deal with the burning pigs is. Uh, we fought thing. All right, well, huh. go go do the rest of them then, I guess. Hang on, well you gotta identify the shit. I love identifying shit. Let me just save it after that. Yeah, where's your? Where's the? Left on the body. Left on what? Body? Oh, he's on the corpse. Oh, okay. I think like, it's, it's, right. this lot of shit on there. Uh, okay. You well, like those two items, but still. Yeah, you go do the uh, the other stuff then. Ooh, magical two-handed axe. That's actually really nice. I'm gonna take that. Illuminator one-handed mace. Okay, that's pyrokinetic. All right, well, I'll just give that to B. Magic armor pyrokinetic. Okay, I'll give that to you, I guess. Fn. Belt with Constitution and Lucky Charm. I guess I'll give that to myself, I guess. 12 physical armor, though. Chloroform. Oh, uh, definitely giving that to Beast. And there's a, there's a room he needs here. It. Exactly. Alright. Well, I guess I'll just uh, keep busting these pigs. Actually, I kind of need the I kind of need the uh, armor, but maybe I'll give it to... Maybe I'll give it to Seville. Yeah, each one I bless gives us more experience. Alright, there's a belt I dropped. All right, let's see. How's this? Well, the uh, the magical two-handed axe is a uh, upgrade from my other stuff, so. But it has no crit chance whatsoever. <laughs> but just oh, so what was in the ring? Pretty. The ring has. Uh, I gave it to you. It has pyrokinetic and magical armor. Oh, okay. I think I'll give it to Beast, maybe. I mean, if you don't need the magical armor, I don't know. Maybe I'll give. Maybe I'll give it to Seabell. Well, yeah, I give it to well, yeah, just, mm. eh. I'm gonna give it to Beast because Beast's not gonna rings right now. All right, all right, all right, go ahead then. Because she has two Huntsman rings, anyways. All right, let me go check out these chests that are probably traps. So let me do this. Oh, Thunderbolt grenade. I'm wondering if the, maybe the rewards get better if like you the curse is you curse the lift. Thank you, stranger. Okay, so the skeleton didn't come back. I was thinking like, maybe the skeleton would come back each day. I'm like, yeah. nice try, Sauce Hunter! <laughs> oh, man. What do you see? I come back every time! I'm gonna be an annoying piece of shit all game, Sauce Hunter. You may have one this time, Sauce Hunter, but I'll be back in Act 2. Uh, there's a wand here. I'll give that to Ethan. Ethan. Shahan. Jahan. Dude, I missed Jahan already. Honestly. It's fine, I can never get him. Zach, demons! Are you a demon? Alright, let me try reading this book I just got. Oh, there you go. Four new recipes learned. Oh, nice. That ring's pretty good. Uh, sorry, that one's pretty good. That looked okay. It's better than what I'm using. Soothing cold scroll. Ah, resurrection scrolls. We have that too. It's kind of nice. 
food. Yeah, we know how food works. Oh, here we go. Can we can we make a fucking hat? Leather scraps. No, just handmade mage armor. Okay. A bottle filled with oil. Right, so I'm out of swords now. Uh, yeah, there's one more pig up here, though. I mean, we could just... Go like, back to that place where we found some source pools. Yeah, I mean, we might as well, I guess. Just going to be grab. Yeah, That's not a thing I can grab. I'm getting slowed over here. I'm just going to get the chest, and then we'll, co we'll come back here. So there's absolutely no more source pools, then? Okay. Mm, that I can see. A magical dwarven staff. Wow, that looks amazing for you to sell. Let's let you go sell that. Bark at... <laughs> just tells the story, doesn't it? Yeah. That okay. looks amazing for you we to learned, sell. We learned some pixie dust uh, recipes. Nice, dude. Yeah. Did you get everything? I guess you did. How many How many more on fire? One on fire. Yeah, okay. I guess you weren't supposed to waste the one point that you, put, you did on me. Maybe. Alright, let me... Let oh, me... dude, a skeleton! Where? Where are you at? Just I found the skeleton. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, dude, dude, dude. What? What? Uh, I did to find this. I'm gonna give it to you, Spiel. Yeah. Oh, dude, a helmet. No way. That's a, uh, that's a lot of. Uh, wow. That's a finesse helmet. <laughs> I, so I just saw the epic. I was like, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, well, it gives nothing that Seville wants, but that's okay, because it gives a lot of magic armor and physics stuff, uh, the, the physical stuff. What stats does it give? 7 magic, 10 physical, but it requires finesse 11, so unless you have finesse 11 on anybody... Well, I'm curious it. what it has. Oh, I, I mean... Can you can you see things I have equipped? Oh, you can see in her inventory right now. It's the last thing it has. Oh, you're right, it. I can do that. Let me yeah. just look at it real quick, I'm curious. Yeah, uh, it's the last thing in her... So can I scroll up? Holy fuck. Yeah. Oh, finesse, and oh, it gets oh, it gets oh shit, it gets wolf and summoning. God damn it! I know, but it's finesse, so that's the problem. It's okay. Oh man, if I had one point in finesse, I'd be able to get my yeah. That's, I, 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 that's I summoning ten at that point. I I I'm, <laughs> I have um I I just I just upgraded the hat, so I gave you back the bucket. Effects. <laughs> I'm glad to keep you honest about that. It's it's, it's fine. It's it's okay. All right. Right, I'm gonna teleport back to the uh, place we were at before. By the way, we've done like a new episode. I just didn't transition it at all. Wait, I just realized like we're now we're and I'm like fuck it. After fucking whatever, I'll just cut it in or whatever. It'll be late. All right. Not even lazy. This is like whatever. Fuck you. All right. Let's go back in there and let's go bless the thing. Cause then I figure on the way out you'll have another source point and we'll be able to finish up the pigs. Okay, I'm down there. Why, why does it even do do it like that? All right. Let me go give it a good old Saveru. Can, can you actually do, uh, bless this guy first? Or, yeah. Bless, bless the good old man here first. So decomposing. And... That did not do the anything. The Magister looks up as you approach. Change your mind? The Magister... Okay. Uh, I'll try and bless the, the, the thing now. So it didn't... It's on cooldown. Didn't help this guy at all. So it didn't do for yeah. Actually, before I do that, make sure it's just in case. Just in case, Salt Hunter. Alright, I'm gonna just press it then. Knowing the reputation of Brackus. You should tread, tread gingerly. Alright, who has. I think, uh. I think Sibyl has all the, uh. detection stuff, right? I'm also pretty good for detection, because Ifan has a lot of, uh, wits. Does he? Not a lot, but he has, like, a fair bit of wits. Yes, does he have 17? It's like 15. Yeah, she's got 17. Alright, I'm gonna give it a save -a Oh, 16, sorry, it's plus one for armor. Uh huh. What is this contraption? Alright, bring the red prince in. I guess we're good, but. The armory. What's it say here? We found a strange monolith in the second room. Well, I guess I'm just gonna touch it. Before you stands an ancient shrine, runes carved deep into its rock. Examine the shrine. The runes are in no language you understand or recognize. The shrine seems completely inert. Lay your hand against the runes. Your fingertips tingle as you reach out to the shrine. You feel power stir in your chest, but you feel lacking. 
like a cup waiting to be filled. All right, maybe you should touch it. <laughs> yep. Lay your hand against it. Touch. Us. Feel the source inside you swell up, filling your chest, yearning to be free. You focus your power, calling the source to your fingertips. Your power flows from your chest and into your hands. Green tendrils of power slithering from your fingertips across the shrine. The shrine starts to vibrate and glow. Slabs of stone gliding across each other as it begins to open. Maybe we should go back to town and ask the person to fucking remove all our colors. I mean, the magisters are dead. Uh, <laughs> hey, and I'm right, skill book. Oh, yeah. And it, there's a, a corrupted <laughs> tyrant's helm. Negative one to leadership, plus one to strength. Grant's purge. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try to Bracus Rex. Okay. Oh, who, who's gonna want this then? Do you have leadership on your guy? Uh, I do. So. Oh, that it, it, oh, it counts as cursed. Yo, dude, uh, uncurse this shit. Oh yeah, dude, I can do that, can't I? Yeah. Hang on, put it on the ground. Yeah, wait, one sec, I'm come bring it over here. I think that's. I think that's the, the whole point. Boots, beast boots. There you go. You actually kept the boots, though. <laughs> I did. Oh, I yeah. think. It should be here somewhere. Yeah, okay. It's on the ground. Go fucking do it. Shot is the. Fuck. Give me. Give me. <laughs> it still counts as blessed, though. No, nope. it didn't. It didn't count. It didn't count it though. That's weird. Maybe there's another way you're supposed to do it. I don't really need leadership though, so I don't really care. Do, do I get negative leadership? Is the question? No, nah, just there's no leadership. Did, did it work? Nice. Probably not. Ah, it's been cursed. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't seem to actually work. What does Purge do? Consume a corpse to gain a source point, or steal a source point from a living character. Okay. I, I, I really would like to fucking... Alright, well, you wanna go, you wanna go finish off with the pegs or whatever? Yeah, there's a wand up here, fuck. There is? Okay. One second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to town for a sec, and I'm gonna see if I can fucking... Talk to talk talk myself into removing the source collar. Like the magisters are fucking dead. The oil? I, I like how there's a puddle of blood here. <laughs> the woman looks up as you approach, wiping her brow with a grease blackened hand. What do you need? Uh, I have a few questions. <laughs> the hammer got you curious. Yeah, funny name for a gal like that. When I knew her, the feather would have been a likelier name. Ask her who invented these god awful colors. She nods once. Clever lass, her. No wonder what Alexander sees in her. Question is, what she sees in him. I wish she remember Dallas. Oh, I don't know. She was a sweet soul, quiet, loved her family. Always seemed strong, as I recall, but she didn't come across as no fearless military leader back then. She was just a girl. People do change, don't they? All right. Well, I can't. She won't remove the collars for me. Fucked. Yeah. I guess we do it a little later. I'm gonna heal the last pig. Alright. Uh yeah, I gotta figure Are out. Are we gonna be close for that or do we just do it? Just just do it. I, I can I can I can do long range. Fucking watch you while I'm walking over there. Is that it? Finally. Alright, what's the thing say about the pigs? Uh, that's that's it actually. Is there one we missed somewhere? We may have missed one somewhere. Does it still say that there's one left? Uh, I mean, it's still saying we have to do things with it. So, I mean, where do they go when they're healed? Because I don't see the other ones around right now, but I'm not there. So, this was just chilling it, but I can't. It's not far anymore, so I don't know what to do. Alright. I mean, there's nothing else we can really do then, so... Alright. Well, where do you want to go now? Dunno. Alright. Let me have a look at the map. Alright, so we just did... What is this place? Abandoned camp. Maybe we should go there. 
Because I just see a waypoint sure. there. Why is it all explored for me? The fuck? All right, let's go. Let's Probably go. Because if you can look, if you can see it with your camera, you can see it with you. Oh, okay. All right, where's the uh, way back? Okay, let's go to the place where we fought. Just so it's like, uh, it, it looks like we made no progress when someone looks at the video. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the best thing to do. Is honestly, just tell him the truth. Yeah, exactly. All right, so let's let's go to the camp then. That sounds good to me. Cause there's actually a, there's actually a waypoint here. I just noticed, so I figured we should go here first. Just an animal up ahead. Oh, there's animals. Yeah, there's a backup. Right, where's the? There's an animal that you guys are around right now. Oh, there's a oh, rat. Yeah, I've already I've already talked to that guy. But I'll, I'll talk to the bear cub. I barely can tolerate this. The cub looks up at you with the saddest eyes you've ever seen. Aw, oh, what's wrong? The cub stifles a sob. I want my mum. Uh, what did your mother look like? The bear cub blinks, sniffles. Like me, I guess. Only bigger. You've seen her, mister. Have I seen a bear? Yeah, we oh, saw a bear. Oh, oh, we saw a dead bear. It is dead. Uh... Point towards where you said, tell the cub your story, but brother's over there and she's dead. Panic and sorrow fight for position on the cub's face. It fights hard not to cry. Oh no. Oh no, not my mum. I'll go find her. Mum, I'm coming! The grief-stricken cub hurries off. I didn't even notice that there was a bear at one point. Or was it? Sorry. Uh, this is like some Bambi shit right now. Oh yeah, yeah it's fucking. Bear. Did you loot it? <laughs> of course I did. I didn't even notice there was. Meat. I didn't even know there was. A, <laughs> took its meat. He's gonna come over and you realize something's missing. Which <laughs> parts of these? My mom used to have more meat on her. Uh, as I said, this is some this is some Bambi shit right here. I didn't. Even, I didn't even realize it. You even fucking pointed out to me last time. The fuck. I don't think a pet. I don't think a death bear was important. Wait, what do we pay you for? You can pay me. I, I, yeah, yeah, dude. New computers. All right, let's see what the bear does. The cub looks up at you with the saddest eyes you've ever seen. Ever seen. All right. Can you pickpocket the bear? Thievery required level two. <laughs> oh my god! Stay. <laughs> <laughs> what does the bear have? I can't pickpocket this. What was I thinking? The <laughs> <laughs> pickpocket is meat. <laughs> you know that, that tender bear meat, that baby bear. All right, there's tortured man. Ah, oh, there's a uh, uh, tortured raw. Yeah, there's some shit here for that. Such barbarism. What happened here? An old elf's pained gaze passes between the crucified. He seems on the brink of tears. Dear ones, not like this. Not like this. Uh, did you know the people not on the? like this. Did you know the people on the corpses, the crosses? They're as good as my family. But I cannot heal them. I cannot heal them. So much pain. Uh, why doesn't he help them down? They are changed. That Dallas woman did something to their minds. They won't be moved, and they can't be healed. They resisted at all costs. They can't even be healed. Using such magic on them would kill them now. Such beautiful souls, corrupted by such evil. Uh, ask him to explain. There's a worse fate than waiting for these poor souls. They're called Shriekers. Upon sight, they blast passers-by with source so powerful none can withstand it. Instant death, that is guaranteed. Where you find Shriekers, you can trust the Divine Order is hiding something they desperately want to keep private. Fate of my dear ones proves there must be some such thing on this very island. Stay away from Shriekers if you want to live. I know not how much longer my friends here have. Uh, he's got nothing. Alright, what's it saying about the Shriekers? Oh, they were Seekers that meet their, met their end. Apparently, according to Yemet, the shriek, uh, Shriekers are made out of tortured sorcerers, their minds twisted by dark magic. Alright. So we didn't actually get any weapons from his vault, by the way. We got a helmet. It's cursed. 
Well, actually, that wasn't his vault. I wonder if there's more to that place, though. Uh, the near a beach north of the shrine. Maybe it's somewhere around here, actually. Maybe we that maybe I don't think that was actually his vault, honestly. All right, let's go. Let's go check this shit out. Oh, look, human foot. The magisters didn't spare a single seeker. Where's the human foot? Give it to Sabil. Hold alt. I see a plain ring though. Where's human foot? Oh, there it is. Like if it was in a container, I'd give it to you easily, but it's You're floor. stumbling away from the shoreline, a deep wound in your side. Behind you, the remains of your ship slip beneath the water. You press on, you and the others. A clearing further inland, a camp, a magister camp. They weren't supposed to be here, yet here they are, twice as many in number as you and my friends. You reach for your sword, but the sky is already thick with magister arrows. Ah. Uh. Note with Divine Order Seal. Okay, let's check that out. Master, uh, Magister Zizar. Ensure you leave a little bit of something behind in case any stragglers come back. Make it hard for the Seekers to breathe, if you know what I mean. Uh, what a dick. And we have a uh, small flame room recipe. Wow, there's a lot of shit going on here. Alright, uh, let's, uh, I mean, as soon as you're done looting here, I guess we'll go. Do a roll call here. Uh. Hey, an arrow shot. Yeah. Balls. We need soup. Bowling for soup? Oh yeah, let me get, make sure I get the, okay, so we have the abandoned marshes camp now. I guess we'll just, I'll go down here. Uh, there are, there are seekers here. Also, what did she spot? Oh, it's fucking this. Make a dig. Treasure. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Locked. Alright, uh, it's all you. Locked. But I, even when the lock, Red Prince has a shovel, he will dig with his claws. <laughs> he does not care. All he right. likes it. What's in there? This, I'm some, like, you can see for yourself. Alright. A lot of scrolls, though. Oh uh, yeah, fortify. I'll give that to FN. Uh, my first bow. Well, that's just gonna be sold. Bread. Oh, I love bread. All right, who needs resurrection scrolls in this party right now? I have one on me. Beast has one. Oh, we have. Okay, we got a large healing potion and a medium healing potion. All right. So I will, the... I will give. Well, actually, I guess you need the medium. I will take. I guess one. Okay, who wants the big ass one? The 330 vitality. I mean, I think we should just save that actually. So let me pick it up and that's I'm just gonna put it in a bag. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. See, so we'll be tempted to look at it. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll give Steve one of the mediums actually. Do you want another one? To, do do you want one of the mediums again or no? Uh, do you have a medium for yourself? Oh, this is my first mediums I've ever gotten for my characters. Yeah, so keep it. Uh, how, can you craft a medium with two smalls? Is that can you? That's usually how it works. Well, I guess I'll try. I have too small. Yep, that's exactly how you do it. Oh, neat. I'll do that then. That's how it was in the original game, so... Well, I don't know. I didn't need a crap in the original game. Oh, yeah. Well, well, fuck you then, asshole. Fuck you, asshole. Alright. How many how many potions do you currently have? I have five. Okay. Yeah, then you're good. I have I have two mediums on Red Prince and one on Seabell, and he has a large health potion as well somewhere in there. All right, so they did, they they did change that over. Let's go make all mine into mediums. Let's come over here with her, with Sivo. Come over here, you butthole. Okay. Well, there's two seekers down there right now, shriekers, which so. we're not gonna be able to deal with. Yeah, no, we can't deal with them. So we can maybe go around. Wow, there's a lot of shit down there. Fucking hell. All right, let me see what the thing says about them, because I actually wanna. So it says here, uh, oh, purging wands. Yeah, we need the purging wands, I guess, for that. Yeah, we don't have that. So this is, I think this place is just wholly un 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 inaccessible to us. 
Yeah. I'm yeah gonna... This is bad news bears right here. Let's try to see if there's any... Okay, I'm going to try going up this way. I'm not even going to bother trying to deal with them right now. Yeah, yeah. I would, I'm going to say it's definitely inaccessible to us. Just until we get a purging wand. Until we get a purging wand, yeah. I'm guessing I may see ways down here, but that's going to be shriekers. dangerous. Yeah, so what's it saying here? You saw a shrieker. It's crackling with source. Removing that source might render a shrieker harmless. Yeah. Oh, there's a, there's some ways to get down here. Just trying to see if there's any point to us trying this right now. Because there's plenty of other things to do at the moment, so... I also see a chest, like, way in the corner there, but I think we're... Yeah, we're supposed to make it over there through there. Uh, Where's the chest? Oh, okay, sorry. I just saw a chest oh, I see. There. Yeah. Well, let's see how broken high ground is. <laughs> uh, I, I think that's very optimistic. Oh no, I broke my camera, shit! Ugh. Look Alright, we don't have to quite do this wet right away, so I think there's plenty more to do before that. Like, there's, um, Hollowed Marsh's Dragon's Beach. <laughs> hey. Do you have it or no? <laughs> I, I could deep strike one of us in there. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, I think we're gonna pass on that. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> I think you gonna be dangerous. What's the point of going up here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna send Seabill up here. Cause maybe there's something here. No. Okay. Is there anything I can do from there? Like teleport scroll? Yeah, I was thinking about it myself, but no. Alright, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go head down then. I'm gonna check out over here. Oh dude, there's a there's a pig named Feeder Fetter. <laughs> Definitely gotta go Fedora. Talk. Yeah. Tip. It is you. This comes to no surprise. Your reputation precedes you as it should. What? No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> you don't remember me? Uh, Talapeggy, you don't recall having met. You don't remember? Goodness. One moment my flesh was flaming with cursed fire, and the next you had eased my pain. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your kindness. Now I'm just trying to get used to life as a pig. It's not so easy. I never did enjoy truffles. Uh, how did the... She came to, come to be cursed in the first place. Well, I can trace it all back to Bracchus Rex, of course. Many of us opposed his reign. Few dared to speak against him, though. A few of us wizards took the chance, though. We figured if we spread the word of his deeds, we might encourage enough people to come together, find a way to take him down. But we underestimated the cowardice of our comrades. All we succeeded in doing was being branded heretics and brought to Bracchus Rex's court. The results were horrifying. A double curse turned into pigs and set aflame for eternity. I like not being on fire, so I don't want to complain too much about the pig part. Uh, we've never seen such a curse. How did Bracchus Rex learn it? I'm afraid I've never pursued knowledge so dark. Bracchus Rex's source talents were great, but some of his skills and devices were unfathomable. How he came by them, I can't say. Uh, is there any way to return to your old form? I'm not sure. I have prayed to Armadia, but she offers no answers. Proclaim your understanding. She means Armadia, goddess of the wizards. Yes, indeed. I harbor some hope that she may still bless me. Make me a little less piggy. A little more wizardly, you know? If you ever stumble upon a shrine to Armadia, well, do let me know. Would be nice to return to normality. Or at least a life with a little less oinking in it. I will do that. Oh, lovely. If you need me, I'll be sniffing up some grub. Alright, well, the pigs are around. Oh, there's, um... Frozen ground in the middle of a swamp. What's going on? There is a frozen dragon here. Ah, <laughs> oh, best kind of dragon. Yeah. 
Level 9 dragon. Alright, you ready for, for a slip and slide? Dude. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he walked around the fire. This was good. Just save? Of course I don't. I already saved. A winter dragon stares you down with flinty, intelligent eyes. He tries to speak, but his jaw is bound tightly by the same thick chains that shackled him to the pillars. Alright. He's shackled to the pillars. Alright. Well... They're bone totems. Bone. Unreadable glyphs mantle this ancient pillar. Braided through thick iron rings, source infused chains bind the dragon tightly. Alright, well, there's. He's chained up by these things. The winter dragon is invulnerable, it seems. Whoever captured it one, must want him alive. I mean, can I destroy these totems? Is that a good idea? <laughs> I don't know. There's a weapon over here. Uh, yeah, I'm destroying the totems. <laughs> Let me help. Where's, where's Seville? Damn it, she missed? Hey, you missed, pal. Path is interrupted. And rakes the earth with ice and cold. Quakes from the impact knock you back. The freed dragon looks sick and pale. As you approach, he stretches his tattered wings weakly and fixes his intense gaze upon you. Frozen tears glint in his eyes. Can it really be? It, is it one like you I must give thanks for unbinding my chains? Ages have passed since I saw your kind last. Red like the red of old. How you fill my heart with pity. Uh, to my explanation, what does he mean, the red of old? Some truths have lain in the grave too long. There, let them rest. Question me no further, for I have no answers to give. Best let me rest as well. Dead, or so it seems. Dead, but not entombed. For my soul is bound to joyless obedience. Purged of my source by the wickedest of witches. I stand and thrall to her every whim. She has only to command, and my traitorous body complies. Uh, ask Slain who would dare to chain a dragon and body and mind it, who possibly could. The witch Rudeka. I was in love with her once. For the smallest slight, really a trifle, she wielded a purging one against me, enslaving me to her will. Now only my voice remains my own. Ask how if your dragon could allow himself to be enslaved. Allow? I did not choose this, as I am quite sure you did not choose that ornamentation around your neck. Aww. Oh, fuck, that, that's too close. My hit's ho close to home. Inquire as to why the witch left him chained here. She trekked far underground beneath a nearby tower seeking ingredients for her vile potions. I can feel her dark heart beating within my own even from here. I await her return, yet... I would prefer to welcome death in the sight of her face again. Offer your sympathies. The dragon sniffs and rakes at the ground with one razor-sharp talon. A thought cannot mend a soul. A prayer cannot heal what has been ruined. You talk to soothe yourself, not me. I ask if there's any way that we can help Slain to be truly free. You would help me. How ironic. But the task would not be an easy one. Decker is a canny one, cat to your mouse. She consumed all my source with a purging wand. So long as she holds it, she has absolute control over me. If you could retrieve it for me, I could be free again. Purging wand? We could smirk it till we could free him from this mortal plane right now. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. Don't fight the dragon. All right, we're gonna we're gonna look at the for the purging wand. You would have my gratitude. And whatever aid I can then offer to you. All right, let's go check out the the waypoint. The tower. Yeah, so I guess that's that, that's where we're supposed to get the purging one from. 
Sounds good to me. Oh yeah, this is actually the witch location right here. Alright, let me get the waypoint at least and we can end the episode. While you do that, I'm gonna check over here because there's little okay. bushes. I, I see a, a Vatarus Vernus up here. Uh huh. Yeah, there's like a. There's a mysterious cave. There's a fuck ton of shit to do here. Mysterious cave, what? No, I'm just looking at the map. There's like a mysterious cave. There's like an entire, like, complex. Oh, there's like, is even like vines here to go up over here? I don't know. Is there any? I'm standing next to the vine. Oh, yeah. You want to do that then? Uh, but we need to end the episode at some point. <laughs> it's your call, man. You're one of all the information. Yeah, I don't know shit. I'll we'll just go up here and hang out beside here. Just to leave the episode in suspense, I guess. What will we find in this in the this stone iron gargoyle oh. trains glistening agate eyes upon you. Its jaws creak open, raining dust as it begins to speak. Ambushed by narrators. You are not Bracus Rex. Uh I bet you aren't, but ask if you can enter here anyways. You may. You may stay forever. Each lock opens only with a soul. And how many of those does one mortal have? Maybe you'll find some in the garden. Or maybe your soul will help the next adventurer through. Yeah, sure. They always do. Alright. There's an entire fucking maze here. That sounds pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that's for next time, so... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, bye guys. See ya.